Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. This is Kevin, Mac Engine, coming at you with uh, another topic tonight. Um, you may see me do a lot on Christian Post, and the reason why I kind of, I don't pick on them per se, but I'm going to comment a lot on what they do is because this website prides itself among others like Christianity Today and so forth. It prides, on, it prides itself on being Christian, quote unquote. Um, but a lot of the things that they share is obviously, you know, questionable. And, you know, they do present the news, which, which is fine. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a source that a lot of Christians come to and secular people too. So when I see a certain article that is posted, um, some of them grab my attention, some of them don't, uh, especially in, in our climate today. Um, some of them are more important than others. Um, so I saw this posted today. It was faith leaders pray, pray with Trump at white house highlight president's accomplishments. Uh, so a lot of Christians, a lot of the Christian right, quote unquote, they really like Trump. And a lot of them, when, when speaking to them and when asking about why, it's because, well, you know, he's a Christian and all that. Um, what they don't understand is that Trump is doing a lot of the things Obama did in his presidency. But since, I guess, Trump and the Christian rights mind is a Republican, makes everything okay. Like bombing in the Middle East, uh, taking away our gun rights, things like that. So it doesn't make a lot of sense where the support is coming from, other than the fact that it's red team versus blue team. I'm on the red team, and so therefore my guy is winning, and I support him. But... Let's kind of dig deeper and figure out what exactly is going on. So this is kind of an intro to that um, in, a, in a broader sort of way. Um, I'm not going to get into all the specifics about what Trump has done. I'll be covered in later topics. But um, one thing that you got to notice is that, so faith leaders pray with Trump. Faith leaders, um, as the Christian Post calls faith leaders, are people like Paula White. Greg Laurie, and many, many other so-called faith leaders today that um, is is not correct and doesn't have correct theology and in a lot of ways is ecumenical. So several, several faith leaders, including notable Christian, conser uh, notable conservative Christian and evangelical pastors, once again, trade, you can put a trademark on conservative Christian, I guess, these days, um, held an informal meeting with President Trump at the White House this week. White House Deputy Secretary John Judd Deere released a statement confirming that the president met with religious leaders Tuesday morning. President Donald J. Trump met, met with faith leaders this morning in the Roosevelt Room and at the White House. They took the time to pray for the president and for the nation. So first and foremost, um, to align yourself with somebody that is questionable, a.k.a. Trump, somebody that, you know, advocates red flag laws, um, you know, sacrificing your liberties for security, all that stuff, um, you should be worried about. Or at least if you're a discerning Christian who reads the Bible, you should be made wary of a man that is trying to take away some of your rights. And if you're not there yet in your Christian walk, and I'm not boasting because I am a fool, the spirit inside me is what gives me my knowledge. Um, we have to understand that that spirit, the Holy Spirit, has opened and allowed things to be, um, what do you want to call it, manifest to show people what kind of society we're living in? What kind of guy are we rooting for? 
um, if you want to take a look at just do a simple Google Google search about um, what President Trump is doing in regards to red flag laws and how he's politicizing a lot of these shootings to, you know, more sensible gun control. Now, he'll say one thing and then kind of back off and then, you know, kind of moving the goalposts so it appears that, you know. But with that, and I know it's kind of a tangent, with that aside, look at this picture. Well, what does this remind you of? Well, it reminds, it should remind us of, of Matthew chapter 6. When thou, and when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Okay, we can have the arguments about Trump all day long, and at the end of the day, I mean, if you still want to support him, fine. Go ahead and do it. But I think most of us can agree that this is a form of, of, of pride, in the so-called faith leaders, the faith leaders of today um, forgot one of the main tenets of Christianity. Don't be seen of your works. I don't, by the power of the Holy Spirit only, I don't want to be seen of men. I don't want my reward of men. I don't have any confidence in the flesh. Why would I put myself in this scenario? But... It should alarm you too as a Christian if you have recognized some irregular irregularities with Trump. Why is he surrounding, surrounding himself with the prosperity gospel s priestess Paula White? Why is he support? Why is he you know? So here are some of the names: Paula White, Kane, Michelle Bachman. Which Michelle Bachman is all for everything Israel. Israel, this Israel, that. I'm not talking about the true Israel, those that are in Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the state of Israel. We'll get to that later. But, you know, Presswood Baptist Church uh, senior pastor Jack Graham. Jack Graham is prominent on Bot Radio Network in Biggin, Texas. Robert Jeffress, we'll get to him in a minute, the guy that claimed that if Trump is impeached, there will be a civil war. You know that guy? Same guy. Harvest Christian Fellowship Senior Pastor Greg Laurie, once again, you know, ecumenical. I mean, yes, he speaks against gay marriage, but everything else, let's just run to the gates of hell. It it doesn't fly. Um, Tony Perkins, of course, Family Research Council, which is a 501c3 nonprofit, uh, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that, but, you know, Tony Perkins is everything Christian, right? Christian right can do no wrong, and the left can do no right. Um, so they go on to continue. We had a great day at the White House with the faith leaders. We talked and prayed with President, at real president, and in the Roosevelt Room t tweeted Franklin on Tuesday, I'm thankful that we are given the opportunity to discuss important policy issues, and always the president asks us to lay hands on him and pray. So you're probably asking yourself if you're new to this, well, why, why does it matter? Trump surround himself. So these are good people, right? They mean well. They're and by all they're they're faith leaders, according to this. Um, well, let's just take a look at Paula White's latest video about advertising her book, her latest book uh, about self promotion. The impact from the whole premises of the purpose of my life and the purpose of this book, and then I believe all of us have trials in life. We all have moments, difficulties, uh, challenges, things that we wish wouldn't happen, uh, secrets that we keep locked away, parts of our life that we don't want to expose to the world or those even that are closest to us. But what I wanted to give is the hope that if you desire it, with God all things truly are possible, that no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the season, 
you are an overcomer and there's really nothing. How do we overcome? I'm an overcomer? How? I certainly don't over, uh, overcome by Kevin. When I try to overcome, I stumble and fall. I stumble and fall worse than anybody else. Without the Holy Spirit guiding us into all things and turning us from sin, I am hopeless. So what in the world is she talking about? Well, she's talking about um, flesh. She's talking about not of spiritual things, but fleshly things, carnal things. You, me, my, all these things. And you, you can overcome uh, through the power of yourself, which we know is, um, is uh, a falsehood, a lie of the devil. Nothing typical about my life. Uh, there's nothing typical about what God can do in a life. In writing this, it was like moving through moments, experiences. Your life doesn't just have this structure, you know. Your life uh, comes with all kinds of surprises. Can the person that God has called to read this book and what God has done in my life, can our two lives intersect at some point? That the things I've been through, God can minister and bring help and hope to someone to maybe give them a pathway, show them purpose. A purpose, show them purpose, the purpose-driven life. Um, the heretical book written by Rick Warren, who teaches about self, nothing about repentance, nothing about um, that repentance leading to a true faith in Jesus Christ, nothing about the wages of sin being death, that we deserve to die in hellfire for all eternity. Oh, well, nothing. It's what, what, what can he? What, what path can he show you? What, what, what can he do for you? Um, it's just amazing. Have an awakening. Reveal something greater in them. Bring them the overarching theme of this book, which is that you are an overcomer, even in those seasons that you don't think it and don't feel it. Yeah, so that's her, I mean, you, you get the point. That's her spiel for her new book, of course, self-promotion, promoting her book. Um, but this is Trump's spiritual advisor. Trump doesn't have enough discernment to realize that if he's allowing these people to be his spiritual advisor, then there's something wrong with Trump. I'm not saying that we don't make mistakes, but that is something that is glaringly, uh, glaringly up front. Um, same Paula White, not too long ago, this is an article from the 24th, said, Christians will stand accountable for God if they vote against Trump. Okay. Televangelist Paul White said that Christians who don't support President Donald Trump will have to answer to God. Um, we shouldn't say what kind of answer. Well, that's good. Uh, of course, we're assuming that that answer would be bad. Uh, but White serves as a spiritual advisor of President Donald Trump and chairs the president's Evangelical Advisory Board made the comments during a Friday appearance on the Jim Baker show. Y'all remember Jim Baker, right? The guy that was caught in adultery with Tammy Faye Baker and their basic... Their, he was big in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, if you don't know much about Jim Baker, he's alive and well today, doing the same things he did before he, or after he got caught. Um, but yeah... Um, these people will go on each other's shows with no, seemingly no discernment uh, between each other. Um, well, that's because they don't have the spirit guiding them in all things, which is what the true believer has when he receives or when he or she receives Jesus Christ. It is a dividing line 
unless you have eyes to see, White told Baker, while discussing how America was being changed through the lower courts. Trump has been working hard to protect religious freedom in a spiritual war between good and evil that is being waged through the courts and threatens to outlaw the Bible as hate speech, she claimed. We're going to move on from Paula White and move on to Robert Jeffers. Robert Jeffers was pictured here as well, or was a part of this meeting. Um, and Robert Jeffers loves dear leader Donald Trump. And he stated that removing Trump from office will cause a civil war like fracture. You need to understand the mindset of these people is that they love war, they love Trump, and he can do no wrong. Well, he does some wrong because, quote unquote, nobody's perfect. But in the broad scheme of things, they fully believe that Trump um, can do very little to no wrong. We must be prayerful and we must pursue the facts further to make a decision as to did this violate the Constitution of the United States, which I believe it did. Well, our next guest warns this could lead to irreparable division in America. Fox News contributor and host of Pathway to Victory on Fox Nation, Pastor Robert Jeffers, joins us now. Uh, Pastor, thanks for joining us on this Sunday. Nancy Pelosi says we Thank need you. to be somber and prayerful as we impeach this president. I think it's hard to take Nancy Pelosi's call to prayer seriously. I mean, it reminds me of a pyromaniac with a match in hand about to set fire to a building saying, please pray with me that the damage I'm about to cause isn't too severe. I mean, if you're really sincere about that prayer, then put down the dang match. But Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats can't put down the impeachment match. Uh, they know they couldn't beat him in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. They're increasingly aware of the fact that they won't win against him in 2020, and impeachment is the only tool they have to get rid of Donald Trump, and the Democrats don't care if they burn down and destroy this nation in the process. Pastor, the evangelical vote in this country is obviously a voting block that all candidates pay serious attention to. What do you think the reaction is of evangelical voters around the country to this news of impending potential impeachment? Look, I don't pretend to speak for all evangelicals, but this week I have been traveling the country and I've literally spoken to thousands and thousands of evangelical Christians. I have never seen them more angry over any issue than this attempt to illegitimately remove this president from office, uh, overturn the 2016 election, and negate the votes of millions of evangelicals in the process. And they know that the only impeachable offense President Trump has committed was beating Hillary Clinton in 2016. That's the unpardonable sin for which the Democrats will never forgive him. And I do want to make this prediction this morning. If the Democrats are successful in removing the president from office, I'm afraid it will cause a civil war-like fracture in this nation from which this country will never heal. Pastor, what about the previous part of Nancy? So you have it. We impeach Trump out of office, there will be a civil war like fracture, according to these people. The other people that are giving him advice. So it's just amazing. And people support this guy is a leader of a major, major um, mega church in the, the Dallas or the Texas and the state of Texas. Um, I want to show you one more thing. Um, so we have to be mindful. Um, this video about uh, Kim Clement um, making a prophecy about Trump and how he saw all this. Um, this is pretty dangerous, folks, and it's pretty alarming. This that shall take place shall be the most unusual thing, a transfiguration and going into the marketplace, if you wish, into the news media, where Time Magazine will have no choice but to say what I want them to say. Newsweek, what I want to say. The View, what I want to say. 
trump shall become a trumpet says the lord trump shall become a trumpet i will raise up the trump to become a trumpet and bill gates to open up the gate of a financial realm for the church says the lord i will not forget 9 11. i will not forget what took place that day and i will not forget the gatekeeper that watched over new york who will once again stand and watch over this nation says the spirit of god it shall come to pass that the man that i place in the highest office shall go in whispering my name but god said when he enters into the office he will be shouting out by the power of the spirit for i shall fill him with my spirit when he goes into office and there will be a praying man in the highest seat in your land there will be a praying president not a religious one but I will fool the people, says the Lord. I will fool the people. Yes, I will. God says, the one that is chosen shall go in and they shall say he has hot blood for the spirit of god says yes he may have hot blood but he will bring the walls of protection on this country in a greater way and the economy of this country shall change rapidly says the lord of hosts listen to the word of the lord god says i will put at your helm for two terms a president that will pray but he will not be a praying president when he starts i will put him in office and then i will baptize him with the holy spirit and my power says the lord of hosts i will first take you to israel whom they would give jerusalem to his enemies why would they give half of jerusalem away this will not happen says the lord for I will take you on a journey today into Jerusalem where it shall be prophesied to song by my prophet what I intend doing in Jerusalem and in the United States of America at the same time, says the Lord. Well, there you have it. Um, these people love the state of Israel. They love uh, Zion and all that stuff, so self-proclaiming all their prophecies self-made prophecies hinge on israel so that's why they like trump even though the tribulation the rapture are um, our man-made false doctrines so be careful this is what we're up against this is the spirit that is found in the most of the churches today and by most of the so-called faith leaders Keep open, keep vigilant, and may God bless you.